Yo, what's up everyone? In this episode, I'm gonna go weld up the inner structure on the rocker panel. And then we're gonna go around the car and clean up any other areas that I didn't get to that need to be finished off. Cool, let's get started. Just spraying these bagging plates with weld through primer, they will go inside the wheel well. So when I weld, I'll have more metal to work with. So moving to the front, you can see the upper rail didn't have any welds in it. All right guys, so I got the quarter panel welded up. It's looking pretty good. And I got the upper rail over here welded up. So that's looking pretty good. Now what I need to do is pull this little damage out. Hopefully that shows on camera. All right, let's go. Alright everyone, so I got pretty sick of working on this frame damage. My back is getting really sore because I'm pulling it all out by hand. So I'm just going to go around and clean up some of the extra stuff that needs to be done. For example, I don't know if you remember the inside of here wasn't welded together. So I'm going to clean that up and get that welded in. Okay, so we got that welded in. Clean that up a little bit. Probably have to do a little bit more at some point. But that'll do. Now I need to clean up the back of the seam sealer here because obviously when you weld, seam sealer doesn't like all that heat. Alright guys, I gave the car a quick clean up. Now what I want to do is go back and double check the fitment of all the panels and make sure they all fit well. That way we're not having any fitment issues down the line because it's been a while since they've all been on the car and a lot of work has been done since. What's up everyone? So I got all the panels on the car except for the front bumper. I'll explain that in a second. But everything is looking pretty good. There's a few little issues that I have to go over still. I got uh, the overlays on, and I don't know if you remember that this was all beat in pretty bad. But you can see how well 
everything is fitting considering there's no body filler and the panel is literally just resting on with a few Clecos. I mean, these are Clecos. I don't know if you know what those are. But yeah. So yeah, everything is looking pretty solid for the most part. There's a lot of little things to go over, like um, the side skirt sticks out a little bit. I don't know if that'll show on camera too well. You can kind of see how it sticks out a little bit more. Just the inside needs to be filed down a tiny bit. The hood has to go that way because it's not fitting quite right. See, it's a little wider on this side. And I'm at max lock with the, the bolts up top. So it's the bottom ones that need to be adjusted. I just haven't gone down to that yet. Took me a little while to get the headlights to sit in here nicer though. They were sticking way out because there's a little tab on the inside. I don't know if you can see it. A little tab up there. But it had to be widened out, so once I got that wider and sitting better, it uh, fit in a lot nicer. So yeah, this side's looking really good too. There's no like gaps or anything really. Then obviously the door was an issue with hitting on the side skirt. I don't know how much it shows on camera. But that's fitting much nicer. So yeah. I'm really happy how well this is coming out. Because how bad it was. I'd say that's a big win. All right, guys, that'll do it for me for this episode. Really appreciate it. If you like, subscribe, if you enjoyed the episodes, hopefully I get more content in the next couple of weeks. Thank you. Bye.